Anime Soul Simulator was created like 7 months ago and I thought it died because I thought the devs moved on to like Anime Lost but it seems like they've reverted back to this game and yeah it seems to be doing pretty well. Now in case you're wondering why I'm on an alt is because I did play this game before like a few months ago just on my main account you know for fun and whatnot and then I kinda never played this again. But now we are back but this time on an alt so say hello to Infinity SS1 and this is gonna be the beginning of a new grind on this game now before we get into the video i just want to mention i have practically no memory of what happens in this game like i can understand the basics you know you get heroes you defeat npcs and then you get some kind of currency i think souls and then the energy is like your power and then we also have the quests and whatnot but then for example skills i don't really remember much this portal i think is just like to the second world but i know they added a bunch of new stuff such as that might have been there from the beginning i'm not sure i mean taking a look at the update log they added a ton of new stuff there's classes swords aura skills kagane dual cards brave bosses accessories like there's so much and they also added a summer login rewards which is hopefully going to help me a bit since i'm starting from the beginning and then like a curse vault again there's just so much to check out now obviously we're not going to be able to beat this game especially in one video so if you want me to come back and you know just for a part two or whatever let me know down in the comments and if you want to show even more support you can like and subscribe and even join my discord link will be in the description and let me know over there do you enjoy me playing this game or is there something wrong did i do something wrong i feel like i'm gonna mix up a ton of stuff but whatever now first of all let's start off with checking out all these buttons on the side of my screen we also have a time trial up here but i think this is like in the late game or whatever but yeah we're gonna have over here the heroes i don't have any right now so i don't really need to focus on them the codes, I actually need to start off with this because I was told codes are super important in the early game. But we'll get back to that. Then apart from that, we also have potions, pretty cool. And then we have a hero's index. Now, I'm not sure if you get anything by completing the index. I hope you do because that would be cool. You know, some bonus prizes and boosts and whatnot. That would be cool. And then apart from that, we also have, I guess this is like the statistics of your character. And then the summer login rewards. Now, unfortunately, it seems like I've missed days. Day one, I am now only able to claim day two, which is unfortunate, but let's make sure we claim, let's claim this now before I end up forgetting. So we got a hundred bloods and something else, but I didn't read fast enough. Does it say in chat? No, it doesn't say in chat. Uh, I think I got some good stuff. Oh damn, we got a hundred boosts of each one. And that's one way to instantly become broken at the game. But yeah, heading over back to the summer login rewards, it seems like we can get more boosts, some kind of like P, I can't really make that out and then a spider and then i think these are like heroes i think i'm not sure but it looks like heroes i think that's enough with the summer login rewards for now we'll definitely come back tomorrow and claim the others now this is going to be the backpack i have no clue what's going to be in there and then we also have the daily rewards okay let me just claim this and i got a three times something potion i don't really remember the colors ah three energy potions which is going to give us two times more energy is it two times for everything yes except the luck potion which is plus 1x okay all right i think that is enough with those then we also have the vip rewards i think that's a game pass exclusive and then we also have the group rewards now i already joined the group before i started this video so i should be able to claim something all right energy potions soul potions luck potions 10 skill spins and two other things i couldn't treat fast enough now if i'm not mistaken that's the portal to the next world yeah okay we're gonna leave that for there for now because like i can't really teleport to any other zones yet then we also have the heroes i guess this is going to be like the egg yeah it's gonna cost us 150 souls which we should be able to get from killing these npcs but before i get into that we also have a two times souls event and two times damage event wow that's pretty cool i wonder how much that's going to kind of affect you know the grind and whatnot but anyways enough of that I need to start off with the codes because when I was told by some friends that if you don't do codes, then you're practically doing nothing. But I'm going to listen to them because I feel like if I don't, I'm just going to make life like 10 times harder. But anyways, let's just speed through all the codes. Uh, you can pause. I'm going to do like a quick time lapse. And if you want to see the new codes and the codes at work and whatnot, then just pause the video and have a look at them. But yeah, this is going to be me using every single code.
All right, and there we go. That is the last code. We got like a ton of stuff, which I'm not sure we can use right now. I'm sure there are more codes. So if you guys can let me know what the other codes are, I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, now we should have a few skill spins. Yeah, we have 120. Wow. And anyways, this is going to be the skills. Now, if I'm not mistaken, skills are kind of like skins and abilities mixed into one. So let's say we spin right now. Okay, let's see what we get. Hopefully the mythic. I mean, if I can get it first try, that would be insane. And we're going to get an uncommon flamethrower. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I should turn into this guy. I'm sorry if uh, you know his name or whatever. I just can't remember it. I think it might be from One Piece. But I don't know. But anyways, yeah, as you can see, I now turned into this character. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's definitely One Piece. I definitely recognize that symbol. I think that's like Whitey Biz group or whatever. I don't know. Haven't watched this show, so I can't really tell. But yeah, I have 119 spins, and I'm sure you guys don't want to see me go through every single one at a, you know, really slowly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly use all of them, and if I get anything good, I'm going to cut back, and yeah, let's see what I got. All right, I'm ending off the skill spin here. I have, I still have 10 left, but I feel like if I use them, I'm not going to get anything good. Right now, I have the epic on, and I think I'm going to play it safe. And stay with that until I have more skill spins. Because I feel like if I just end off with a common or whatever, then I'm just going to make life really tough for no reason. Alright, I think that is everything now when it comes to, you know, the side parts of the game. Now it's time for the main part of the game. So as far as I know, when we click, we're going to get power. And the more power we have, the more damage we're going to do. So for example, it's going up by two, I guess, every single time I click. Oh yeah, because it's a times two damage event. I forgot about that already. But yeah, as we click, I think we also have a free auto clicker yeah there we go and this bar over here i'm gonna assume is our skill so once that reaches maximum we should have like a skill or an ability or something it would be cool to check that out but i feel like i'm already doing too much damage to these small cracko dollies cracko dollies i don't know what that is my bar's about to fill up so i want to use it on a strong enemy so let's go for this guy or do you think i'm being a bit too ambitious uh whatever let's see uh, it's about, I'm about to do it, and I had a flame kick, and it, that did, like, 30k damage, I think? Damn, that's pretty cool. So, skills are basically just normal attacks, well, abilities, but they do, like, 10x your damage, maybe, something like that. Anyways, when we kill these Krakow dollies, we're gonna get 20 souls each time. Oh, yeah, we're also starting our way to completing this main quest over here, the defeat 40 Krakow dillies, whatever you call them. Oh, then let's just kill this one here there we go and once we complete it we're gonna get a leaf village i think that just means we're gonna be unlocking the next area that's what i'm gonna assume at least let me check quickly let me just stop the auto clicker quickly do i have enough to open up uh no not yet i'm actually missing 10 more one second and there we go now we have 160 which should be enough to open up one yes so let's just press e and hopefully we get something good we got the common oh well you can't exactly win every single time i thought i clicked the heroes but yeah he's going to give us a 1x energy boost what? Hold on. I think my math ain't mathing here. Hold on. Once I click... Okay, now I get two times energy. Okay, okay. Because I was confused by like... I thought it was supposed to be like a multiplier and not a one times addition. But anyways, now we get two energy each time, which should add up pretty smoothly. I think I'm going to start moving up to these Mohulks. Yes, I know I haven't completed the quest yet. I still need like 30 more. But I want to get more souls. I want to, you know, obviously hatch a few more of those chests or eggs or whatever you want to call them. And hopefully get some good heroes because I feel like I'm going to need them. And that ability just one hit him. I need to keep in mind about my ability. I need to make sure that I time it. So then when I use it, it's not going to be like he's one HP or on a weak enemy. So yeah, once his bar fills up, I'm not going to go towards the boss. I'm probably going to go to one of these guys. Uh, I think I can do more than 10k. Yeah, I think this Kuzira I'm going to do. Taking a look at these Mohulks, we're getting 100 souls each time. We're at 690. And no, this was not planned. Coincidences happen. What can I say? But anyways, our souls are going up pretty fast and i forgot that I, my ability was about to happen so that is unfortunate actually now that i think about it i think it's time to use some of these potions because why not i mean i have like a hundred of each so yeah let's just use one energy one souls one damage and i won't use the luck for now because i'm not going to be opening anything oh yeah now we're just obliterating these more hugs just look at this we're like three tapping them i think it's time i actually start moving up to these okay jars and they're gonna give us 400 souls each just like four spins or something or three spins 
Something like that. I also need to figure out what this time trial is. because I, I'm assuming it's going to be dungeons. Because obviously that's what usually all these simulators have. But yeah, I may be wrong. Now what is this? So, oh, this is going to be the class. Is this like a rank up? Seems so. So we start off at beginner. And once we rank up, we're going to get a times to boost to our energy, I guess. I don't think it's souls. And it's going to cost us 50k souls. Which we are like... 10x off so yeah let's get back to grinding and get some souls Ooh, okay so i just decided to quickly hatch a little bit and i just got the legendary and for context he's one percent that is insane i can't believe i got him on like my seventh try i think but yeah let's just quickly how do i like uh, can i equip best no uh okay let's just equip equip Equip, and we can only equip three for now, but from what I was told, we should be able to unlock more as we progress. And I guess these Sanjis, I don't need anymore. I guess I can just sell them because they're useless now. But yeah, apart from that, we also got the Epic, which is going to give us a five times energy boost, and the Taffy, which is, I guess, Luffy. And he's going to give us a three times energy boost. Pretty cool. Now, every time we click, we're going to be getting 34 energy each time. And with all these boosts, you know, the times to energy and whatnot... That should add up very, very fast. Now, let's get back to the original goal of getting 50k soul so then I can rank up. All right, let's kill this last Kuzura. And now we have 55k. I went a bit overboard, but now we have 55k. So that is amazing. Let's stop all the auto clickers and rank up. Now, what do we lose? Okay, so we lose energy and souls. Do we keep our heroes? I think so. Yeah. And heading back over here, the next upgrade is going to be ninja. Four times multiply and it's going to cost us one million souls. Wow. We also unlock something here. Oh, these are achievements. Did I not check these out? I thought I did. I don't remember them. But anyways, let's head over here. Uh, we got this, a luck achievement play for one hour okay so there are certain achievements which you can get for doing certain things such as buying heroes discovering heroes oh so this must be like the index type of thing and then over here if we kill 100 enemies we'll get a plus 10 percent energy boost pretty cool and this one over here uh plus 0.05x luck okay i'll just claim that thank you all right now that i have a bit of power saved up and my ability is about to kind of activate it's time to take on the boss. Let's see. Am I going to do any damage now or is it going to be useless? So let's just click a few times and he got one hit. And he gave us like 20k souls. That is really good. Although I don't think it's worth getting any heroes for now since I'm pretty sure I can just speed run all these quests. Like I can once punch all these Krako dials, whatever you call them. And all that's left to do is just get through them all. I think the hardest part is just going to be running around for a few minutes to kill them all. So yeah, once I complete all these quests and see what happens, I'll get back with you guys. Alright, this should be the last boss kill that I need to complete the quest if he can spawn back please i guess he's refu oh never mind he is back and there we go that should be the final quest completed let's just claim it and we've unlocked the leaf village so i guess it's going to be right here the portal yeah let me just go through here's the teleporting screen and here is the leaf village now what is the difference for example the heroes they're going to cost us 150k each spin i can actually do one of those right now let's just do it hopefully something good and we got the epic that is amazing 5% not too bad and he's gonna give us a 7.5x multiply this that's a bit less than what I expected but I guess it's better than nothing oh the yellow Noratu spawned hold on hold on what is that is this him 14 minutes he has 100 bit oh forget it I don't even stand the chance to killing him but yeah I guess he is a raid boss and he's gonna give us some kind of rewards now as I said before unfortunately we're not strong enough to take him on however I think this is exciting because obviously there is something to check out next time now regarding anime souls I'm thinking I'm gonna end off the video here now don't worry there is still a lot to check out and I'm enjoying the game quite a lot actually I thought it was going to be kind of a bit of a rep repetition of the other games you know the other simulators on roblox right now but no it seems quite unique at the moment it has this like uniqueness which i can't really explain but yeah if you haven't played this game yet i highly recommend checking it out and then if you don't like it then at least you said you tried it and you didn't like it actually there's one achievement i can claim quickly and it's going to be another equip hero thank you let me just actually equip my new hero there we go we now have kakashi where is oh here he is but yeah if you guys want me to come back to this game and give it a try let me know down in the comments tell me on my discord once again link will be in the description and if you enjoyed the video you can like subscribe 
subscribe, notifications on if you want to, so you don't miss my next upload, of course. But anyways, I'm going to continue grinding on this game just overnight or something or whatever. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, please don't forget to tell me any codes that I missed out in the comments. I really want a mythical ability. But yeah, peace out.